Welcome back to the Citizen Data Academy. This video is the first in our City Parish Government module. We'll show you how to use Open Budget BR. This web application is designed to help foster a clear understanding of the annual budget for the City Parish and encourage the transparency of government. Open Budget BR assists users in learning more about how revenues are used and resources are prioritized to help fund the critical services, programs, and initiative City Parish residents rely upon daily. The data is updated each January, after the budget for the upcoming year is approved in December. You can access this application at budget.brla.gov. Normally, the annual budget book is an extremely detailed 500-page document that can be difficult to navigate. Open Budget BR provides the same information in a user-friendly and interactive visual resource so that citizens can easily find what they're looking for. Before we begin, an important note is that multi-year funds, such as grants and capital budgets, are not included in this application due to how they are managed and accounted for in our financial system. But they are listed in detail in the actual budget reports that you can access by clicking Read More from the homepage. You can view annual budget reports dating back to 2009 in their entirety and find information about multi-year funds. There are two main ways to explore the budget. First, in the search tool at the top of the page and in the top right, you can quickly find a specific service, department, or program from our records of revenues and the operating budget. In the drop-down list, items from the operating budget have a blue icon, while items from revenues have a gray icon. Let's imagine we want to view library operations from the budget. Simply select that from the list and the application will save you time by jumping straight to that part of the budget. The second main way to explore the budget is with the tiles on the homepage. The two tiles on the left side allow you to explore revenues, and the two tiles on the right side allow you to explore the operating budget. The bottom two tiles provide a quick preview of the wider body of data, showing the top five projected revenue sources and top five budgets by department, respectively. Keep in mind that these tiles only show data for the current fiscal year. Clicking the Show Chart button opens a bar graph where you can hover over the bars to view the exact figures. For example, we can see the Department of Environmental Services has the largest budget this year at nearly $120 million. The Fire Department has the fifth largest budget at just under $65 million. As for revenues, we can see that more than half of City Parish projected revenue comes from taxes, with just over $476 million expected this year. You can left-click on a bar to jump straight to that portion of the budget. Here we can see that the general sales and use tax is the greatest source of both projected and actual revenue, while property taxes are second. We'll return to revenues later, but first let's cover the operating budget in greater detail. You can return to the home page at any time by clicking this button in the top left. Click this button to explore the operating budget in its entirety. By default, this page displays data for the current fiscal year, but you can view budget information of previous years since 2018. The approved operating budget for this year is just under $909 million. The default setting is to break down the budget by fund but there are other options in this drop-down menu. You can also view the budget by department, division, program, category, and expense category. We'll choose department in this example. By default, these graphs will always display values in descending order from the largest to smallest budget amounts. You can adjust this with the sort menu to the right of the chart. You can show the values in ascending order and alphabetical order. You can also display values based on the actual expenses to date, rather than what was originally approved in the budget. When we do this, you'll notice that debt service has accrued the highest expenses so far this year, even though environmental services was allotted the greatest budget amount. 
The light blue bars show the amount originally approved in the budget for each item, while the dark blue bars show the actual expenses reported to date, which tend to gradually increase over the course of the fiscal year. Hover over a bar to find more information. The Department of Environmental Services has an approved budget of just under $120 million, and this amount constitutes more than 13% of the total operating budget of $909 million. The department has spent just under $89 million to date, which is about 73% of their original budget. The actual amounts come from Open Checkbook BR, one of our other applications that records city parish spending down to the level of each individual check. We'll cover Open Checkbook in greater detail in the next video of this module. The bar charts only display 15 items at a time. To view the budgets for the rest of the departments, we could scroll through them with the next and previous buttons below the chart. The scale dollar amounts option can be useful when viewing a page of items that have a relatively small budget. With the show as menu, you can display the bar chart items in dollar amounts or by their percentage of the overall operating budget. In addition to viewing the budget items in a bar chart, you can also view them in a pie chart. You can choose to display a pie chart of the original budgeted amounts or the actual expenditures. You can also view how the budgets and expenses have changed over time, dating back to the 2018 fiscal year. The total budget is shown by default, but we can turn this off and display other items. For example, we can display the budgets of City Court, Mosquito and Rodent Control, and Information Services. Like with the pie charts, you can cycle between displaying the actual expenses and the original budget. But you may need to turn off the total budget each time you do this. By clicking the share button at the top right, you can share a link to your chart or embed it into a web page. Below the charts, you can view the same data in tabular form in the ledger details section of the page. The amounts in the original budget are shown on the left, and the actual expenses are shown on the right, with the total amounts at the bottom. You can see that total expenses to date are $616 million, nearly $300 million less than the budget. Now we'll show you an example of how you can drill down deeper into the budget data, as long as the items you explore have a nested relationship. You can left click on an item in the chart, or from the ledger, to drill down and explore deeper into the data. We'll use the Department of Information Services in this example. Let's break down the department's budget by category instead of fund. Most of the budget is for employee salaries and the maintenance of equipment. Clicking on other professional services shows that about $500,000 is budgeted for operating while about $100,000 is budgeted for computerized systems. You can return to the previous level of the nested relationship by clicking the back button, or you can skip back several items in the list on the left. You may have noticed that most of the expenses are close to the budgets as the fiscal year comes to an end soon, but some items will come in far under budget, while others may exceed their budgets. It is important to look at budgets in the context of the fund from which they originate and the department or entity responsible for managing them. One final thing to show in the operating budget section is the How's It Funded page. This page isn't interactive, but it's a quick and convenient way to view information about funding for the operating budget. It shows a list of funding sources from largest to smallest, displaying the amount of funding and percentage of the overall operating budget. The general fund counts for $340 million, about 40% of the budget. Now let's briefly cover revenues. The layout and functionality of this page is identical to the operating budget page. However, it displays sources of revenue instead of budgetary expenses. In the chart, expected revenues are the light gray bars, while the actual collected revenues are shown in dark gray bars. Taxes are by far the greatest source of revenue for the city parish. When we drill down into the revenue data for taxes, 
we can see that most of the taxes have met their expected revenues. The general sales and use tax and the gross receipts business tax have significantly underperformed their expected revenues thus far, while the gaming admissions tax has overperformed its projection. Much like the House It Funded page, the House It Spent page shows a convenient overview of projected revenue sources, from largest to smallest. It displays the amount of revenue expected from that item and its percentage of the total revenue. By clicking this link in the bottom right of the home page, you can view or download the entire budget data set in Open Data BR. Just be aware that this is a massive amount of data to work with in Excel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, where we show you how to use Open Checkbook BR.